Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Quebeca, and in this Silhouette Print and Cut tutorial, I'll show you how to color digital stamps right in Silhouette Studio. First, I'll show you how to do this if you have one of the premium editions of the Studio software, and then I'll show you how you can also do this if you have the basic free version. I have my Happy Fall digital stamp sheet open here in Silhouette Studio, and I'll have a link below to where you can purchase this. This is an SVG file that comes with the border cut lines already created for you, and we're just going to use a couple of images from the set. So first I'll click to select the sheet, and then I'll go up to the top menu and click Object, then Ungroup from the dropdown. You'll have to do this a couple of times to fully ungroup the images, and you'll see all of the little boxes appear around the individual images and cut lines when you do. Next, we'll click and drag to select the leaf and pumpkin at the top left, and we'll select their corresponding cut lines when we do this too. Press Ctrl or Command plus C to copy them, and then click over or open a new clean file and paste them into the new file by pressing Ctrl or Command plus V. I'll just zoom in a little here after I paste the images so you can see them better. And I'll move the leaf over a little bit to give it some breathing room. So these images are SVG vector files, which means that you can scale them up or down as much as you'd like without losing image quality. It also means that you can easily recolor them in Silhouette Studio by opening the Color Fill panel, which is the little icon on the far right menu that looks like a painter's palette, and clicking on any of the color squares to change the digital stamp to that color. If you watched my earlier video on coloring and recoloring images, then you know that you can also fill the digital stamp with a custom color, a gradient fill, or a pattern fill. We'll make the leaf a chocolatey brown color, and then I'll make the pumpkin digital stamp a shade of gray. So you can see how super easy this is. If you have the basic free version of Silhouette Studio, the process is just a little bit different. In the free version of the Studio software, you can't work with SVG files, but you can work with raster files, including PNG and JPEG files. And my digital stamp set includes high resolution PNG versions of all of the images in the set. So we'll just open one of the individual PNG images from the set, copy it by pressing Ctrl or Command plus C, then clicking over to the file that has the other two images and pressing Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it into the file. Next, we're going to go over to the far right menu and click to open the Trace panel. After that's open, click the Select Trace Area button, and then click and drag over the leaf image on the artboard. The area in yellow is the trace area, and this is actually pretty good. We could just trace this now if we wanted to, but I'm going to go over and bump the threshold slider up to 100 to make the trace area a little bit thicker. Finally, I'll click the Trace button to trace the image. I'll move the original image off of the traced outline so you can see the result. And now we have a vector version of the image that we can use just like an SVG file. I'll open the fill panel from the far right menu again, and you can see that I can now fill the traced outline with whatever color I want. Next, we want to remove the red outline from the image, so I'll open the line style panel from the far right menu, click over to the tab with the colored lines, and then click the transparent box to get rid of the red outline around the image. Now we know what to do if we want to color the actual digital stamp line art. But what if we want to color in the rest of the image and make it into a full color print and cut file? First, we'll select the image that we want to color, and then we'll go over and open the Modify panel from the far right menu. That's the little icon with the rectangle intersecting the circle. After that, click the Release button in the Compound Paths area to release the paths. When we do this, the entire image will fill with the fill color, in this case brown. But you can see that lots of little boxes also appeared, and those are all of the pieces of the image that were transparent before we released the paths. Now they're their own separate elements, and we can open the fill panel again, click on each area, and set it to whatever color we'd like. After I do this, the image is fully colored and ready to print and cut. I'll click and drag to select the image and its border cut line, then press select and click just the cut line to deselect it, and finally I'll press Ctrl or Command plus G to group the image so we can move it around more easily if we need to. Next, let's work with the pumpkin image. We'll click to select it, and then we'll head over and click to open the Modify panel and click the Release button to release the paths. Open the Fill panel again, and this time I'll click over to the Gradient tab and fill the separate areas of the image with gradients. I don't want to forget to fill the inside piece of that little tendril there with white, so I'll click over to the solid fill panel while that's selected and fill it. You can also fill these areas with patterns and textures, 
and I'll click the Pattern Fill tab and fill the pumpkin pieces with one of the default textures. Any elements that are filled with a gradient fill or a pattern fill can also be adjusted and recolored using the Image Effects panel, which I talked about in my earlier video on coloring and recoloring images in Silhouette Studio. The link to that video should be popping up right about now if you want to check it out. I want to do something a little bit different with the second leaf image, the one that we traced earlier. Let's say that you want to make the fill color of a digital stamp all the same color. Here are a couple of ways that you can do this. First, press Ctrl or Command plus C while the image is selected to copy it, and then press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it. Next, open the Modify panel and click the Release button in the Compound Paths area to release the paths. Click on the artboard to deselect everything, then click on just the main piece of the image and drag it off to the side, and click and drag to select all of the interior sections of the leaf image that were created when we released the paths. Press Ctrl or Command plus G to group them so you can move them around more easily as a single piece. Now we have two different elements that we can use to create a solid color fill for our digital stamp image. Open the Fill panel again and click on any of the colors to fill all of the interior elements with a single color, or a gradient or pattern fill. Then click and drag it over the original digital stamp line art image to fill it with color. Next, we'll create the border cut line for this image by opening the Offset panel from the far right menu, and this is the button with the offset star as an icon. Click the Offset button to create the offset, then adjust the offset distance if you'd like until it's where you want it. After that, click the Apply button to apply the changes, and the border cut line for the image is ready to go. If you want to find out more about creating border cut lines for different types of images in Silhouette Studio, then check out my earlier video on that. The link to it should be popping up for you right now. Now I'll show you a second way to create a solid color fill for a digital stamp image. First, click just the gray line art portion of the leaf image that we just created the border cut line for. Then press Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it, then Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it. We'll click to open the fill panel again, and I'll fill the digital stamp line art part of the image with brown. And then I'll click to select the solid filled element and click to fill that with a peachy pink color. Then I'll click and drag the solid image under the outline to color in the image. If you want, you can offset the solid colored image from the line art image a little bit so you can see some of the fill color outside the lines of the line art. And this is a really trendy look right now. Or you can open the transform panel from the far right menu and line both parts of the image up perfectly using the horizontal center and vertical center align options. I'll create a border cut line for this image just like we did earlier by using the offset panel and adjusting the offset distance to 0.05 and hitting apply. If you want to go back at any time and recolor any elements of the image before printing and cutting, it's as easy as clicking to select the image that you want to work with, ungrouping it via the object menu on the top left of the screen, then opening the fill panel and recoloring the pieces of the ungrouped image. When you click the Send tab when you're ready to print and cut, you may see that some portions of the image still have the red cut outlines around them, and all you need to do to make sure that those areas don't cut is to select them, head over to the Send panel area while they're selected, and click No Cut to set the lines not to cut. Now all of the images are ready to print and cut cleanly, and be sure to save this file to your local computer so you can use it as many times as you'd like to in the future. I hope that this video has helped you learn about some of the different options for coloring digital stamp line art right in Silhouette Studio. If you liked this video, it would be great if you would give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll tune in again soon.